Apple Notes is my favorite note-taking app on my Apple devices because it just works without any additional complications or complexity. But one of my biggest pain points with Apple Notes is text formatting. There's not really a great way to do it in the default app, but that all changes with this one free extension called Pro Notes. It allows you to use markdown and slash commands similar to Notion or Bear or other apps like that that allow you to navigate and format your text in a way simpler way. So let's dive into it. So to get started with Pro Notes, all you have to do is log on to their website and click download for Mac and it'll send a link straight to your email. You click download and you are ready to go. There's a whole bunch of tools in here like AI tools to help you write and summarize. There's new formatting bars, markdown and slash commands. So let's jump into Apple Notes and see exactly how this works. All right, so I'm in Apple Notes and I've just written here heading one. Typically what you would have to do is select that and go up here and change this to a title or a heading or something like that. There are keyboard shortcuts, but they're not as intuitive as other apps. And so that's where slash commands come in. So if I delete this and I just type slash and I click heading right there, I can click enter and add my heading. Maybe I need a subheading below that. I can just go slash sub. I can type that and here have heading number two. And as I go to the next line, I can do slash body and say, this is my paragraph text. So you can see right there, I never had to use my mouse at all. I was able to simply just type slash, type in a heading or subheading and get started right away. And you can do this for basically every type of formatting option in Apple Notes. Headings, titles, uh, you can use blocks, you can use tables, it is all in there. Now, if you're not familiar with the type of option you wanna use, the cool part is you can simply just click slash and you can use your arrow keys to toggle through whatever you might want to use. Now, if you're familiar with Markdown, those are automatically built in here as well. If I just type one hash here and I click a space bar, you can see here is heading one. If I do two hashes, I can do heading number two. And if I do three hashes, I've got heading number three. You can even do things like checklists or block quotes. So here, if I create two brackets into a space, I've got list one, list two, list three. And I can even do like an arrow key in a space to do a block quote. So as you can see, this makes formatting your Apple Notes really powerful and way quicker than having to use your mouse and select through all of the options. But if you are not a keyboard shortcut junkie like me, this still gives you additional features when you highlight specific pieces of text. So if I go here and I select all of this, you can see I've got this floating menu here where you can choose here and choose your titles and headlines. You can bold, you can italicize. It is all right there if you don't wanna use keyboard shortcuts to make everything happen. The last thing I wanna talk about in Pro Notes is using ChatGPT. You can pay for their Pro Notes Gold plan and you can actually access multiple different ChatGPT models directly inside of Apple Notes. Maybe you wanna summarize a note or you wanna have it ask you to generate some ideas for something you're working on. You can do that directly inside of Apple Notes without having to jump over to Safari or Chrome to use ChatGPT. So that's a quick recap on Pro Notes for Apple Notes. It's a fantastic way to improve Apple Notes just a little bit and give you a little bit more flexibility with keyboard shortcuts, slash commands, and markdown. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new and I will see you in the next one.